Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler video series videos I do for the while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that... Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This shirt is not theme appropriate for this item, but I didn't know I was going to be reviewing this. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, oh, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, that happens to be my, boom, my Steel Dawn shirt starring the amazing and sadly gone Patrick Swayze. If you're unfamiliar with the excellent film Steel Dawn, it is, in my opinion, it fully deserves cult classic status. I don't think it really has that properly, but there is definitely like a growing thing for it because I know a couple years ago, maybe even last year, they finally released it on, like, proper Blu-ray, and it was like, oh, cool, you know, like, because, I mean, I had a DVD copy that was a million years old, so it was cool, you know, They're giving a little recognition, uh, but Steel Dawn is, it's basically like a post-apocalyptic martial arts sword play adventure that Patrick Swayze did, uh, it actually stars his future wife as well, and, like, it's just a cool movie that's got Patrick Swayze kicking the shit out of people and busting out a sword. Like, it's a cool movie. Um, you know, maybe not, it's certainly not one of his better-known ones, but I like it. That's why I got the shirt. But anyway, what am I reviewing for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why is this not shirt-appropriate? Well, folks, because if I'd gone over there and I'd thought about this in advance, well in advance, I would have gone over there and worn a shirt featuring maybe... One of the Wahlberg brothers, like Mark, or maybe like a New Kids on the Block thing with Donnie or something. Why? Because, folks, I'm reviewing something from, boom, Wahlburgers. It's a burger, you see. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Wahlburgers concept, this was like a thing that kind of broke out, God, like probably like 15, maybe even more years ago. Maybe even more years ago. And it started kind of as a little bit of a reality TV thing where basically the wider world was introduced to, you know, you have, like, Mark Wahlberg, obviously famous actor, Donnie Wahlberg, new kids on the block, but there's also other brothers, and one of them's a guy named Paul, and he's a chef, and he went over there and decided to capitalize on his famous name, literally and figuratively, and started up a line of burger places. So, there happens to be one in St. Charles, Illinois, and I'd been wanting to go over there and do a review for them for a while, but, like, I just hadn't worked it out. Today I saw the opportunity and I jumped at it. So, what burger am I reviewing from Wahlburgers? Well, this happens to be... Ba -da -da -ba -da. Boom! And we're going to get a better boom than that, but this is their... Ba -da -da -da. This is their double burger. Uh, it is two patties of Angus beef, government cheese, which is basically just American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles... Ugh, pickles... And then it's got Paul's Signature Wall Sauce, which is basically kind of a burger sauce. Now, I have to admit, I actually have tried out Wall Burgers once before. It was like years ago when this place first opened up. And I've been, like I said, meaning to get back here. One thing I will say right off the bat that I like about the Wall Burgers, they ask you what temperature you want your burgers at. Now, folks, medium rare. That is where flavor lives, medium rare. And I also want to mention real quick, because this is a burger review, it's going to end up on my Burgers for Days playlist, which is a playlist for just burger-related stuff. But, let's get a boom, let's actually start doing the review. Jesus, it's a little bit sloppy. Yeah. That's very sloppy. Very, very, very sloppy. That's fine, because, boom, it looks like that, and then, can we, what's like the best way? I think that'll work. Ha 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 ha! Let's go ahead and eat some sloppy ass burger. All right. Oh. I will say, temperature on the burger, a little bit closer to medium at this point. But to be fair, 
I actually went over there, you know, I kind of ordered a head on it and stuff like that, so I'm not going to fault him. To, like, it's not like it's well done or anything. It's still flavorful and juicy. Um, and I know, like, the big things they're proud of with their burgers is that they use the government cheese. It's always kind of like a throwback to the fact that, you know, growing up they weren't very well to do. And then the wall sauce, you know, which is their signature sauce. Um, burger itself, again, very sloppy, but very tasty. Everything on it tastes really good. I'll even give them credit on the pickles. Um, I'm not a big pickle person, but I think the pickles on these are nice. They're like a nice thick cut, and they're they're tasty, but they're not like overly trying to take over you know the whole burger. Um, definitely makes it a little bit hard to handle, obviously, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a good burger. Mind you, mind you, it did cost me about 16 bucks. A little bit much for a double burger, but if the quality's there, if the flavor's there, I'm willing to pay a little bit extra. Um, if you want my value per burger thing, go watch my Five Guys review. Uh, I mean, this is a good burger. I don't have anything against it. I like the idea of the government cheese. I like American cheese on a burger. The wall sauce is, it's definitely kind of a tangy burger sauce. It's, I'll give them credit though. I think it's, it's a well-constructed burger sauce. I wouldn't say it's anything standout, you know, like it's definitely, I've certainly had very similar sauces to it, but I do think that for what it is, it's a good sauce, you know, for a burger. It's, you know, again, I don't know if it's quite worth the, you know, the signature status, but it's good. The patties themselves are nice. They're juicy. They're meaty. They do taste good. I mean, right off the bat, I'll say this. If I were to get this again, I'd definitely ditch the, the pickles and the onions. Mind you, that's just personal preference. Pickles and the onions are actually good quality, so I just, you know, I don't need them there, personally. But, okay. Um, Alright, well, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, and really, it kind of is, you know, a little bit of an overall kind of thing, you know, would I go back to Wahlburgers, you know, that kind of deal. Uh, I mean, I think for me, personally, like I said, I would make adjustments, but I would go with yes and yes. I think this is a decent... I would, and You know what? It's a better than decent. It is a certainly... It's a properly good double burger. Is it anything outrageously special? No. I don't think it's doing anything that, you know, is breaking the mold, breaking the mold or anything. Or that really helps it stand out too much. But it is a classic American-style burger. The ingredients that are used are good, and they definitely fit that classic American-style burger, you know, vibe. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like, not every burger needs to be super-duper crazy special. It can just be a really solid, you know, classic burger, and I think that this qualifies in that regard. 15 bucks, 16 bucks, you know, granted, you do get a side with it, so there is that. I'll, you know, tag that in there. But the problem is, when you start getting at that point... For me, it's kind of like, well, I can just go to, like, an artisanal burger place and get, like, you know, a really fancy burger. But there's no denying that you are kind of paying a little bit for the namesake experience. You know, that just is what it is. Um, but I, it's not outrageous. You know, it's not a place that, for me personally, like, I wouldn't hit up Wall Burgers with any super regularity just because... I mean, for one thing, yeah, the burgers are good, but I've certainly had better burgers. I've reviewed better burgers for the show. And again, when you're talking about the price, you know, it's not terrible, but I've certainly had better burgers for a better price range. Now, all that said, would I recommend it? Now, I do want to go over there. I want to mention a couple things real quickly. 
about the Wahlburger experience. Okay, now I don't know if this is all their locations, but it's certainly the uh, the location in St. Charles. That's you know how they do things. They are a uh, cashless restaurant, so debit or credit only. Which you know, okay, fair enough. More places are shifting to that. The other thing to take into account, and I didn't realize this going in, because uh, it's been a while since I'd been there. You cannot like order at a counter or anything. You have to sit down. So I went over there, I sat down, I ordered some, you know, some just some uh, simple stuff, and then I ordered this to go. That's how my interaction went. I should have ordered ahead, but now that all aside, based strictly on the burgers themselves, would I recommend Wall Burgers? Sure. I can't go over there and like give it a huge resounding recommendation because at the end of the day like Illinois has so many really great burger spots that I would definitely point to most people before I pointed to Wahlburgers but that said this was still a good burger experience like I'm gonna eat the shit out of this and enjoy it you know so it's one of those things if somebody were asking me like oh Brandon you know you're b -b 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 -b, where would you Wahlburgers wouldn't be my first spot but if somebody were asking me Hey, Brandon, if you tried out Wahlburgers, what do you think of it? I'd probably be like, all right, yeah. You know, they got some decent burgers. You know, again, maybe there's some better spots, but, like, they're not a bad burger spot. So that's where I kind of fall on them. I do think, again, you're kind of paying for the namesake experience and the nostalgia and, you know, the whole thing. I ain't got nothing against or for any of them, so it's, like, for me, it's just about the burgers. But anyway... Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your folks. Go over there. Have yourselves a truly wahlburger tastic rest of your life. Because, again, you know, maybe you don't like the acting. Maybe you don't like the music. But to his 100% credit, the guy went over there and was like, fuck it, I'm going to be a chef. And I'm going to open up a Wahlbur or a burger place. And I'm going to tag in on my last name. Fair enough, Paul Wahlburger. I appreciate the fuck out of that. And you make some pretty solid burgers, too. Final well, two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just overall bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there, take a step back, Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe, since we've got a Wahlburgers, maybe we need to go over there and have more celebrity food-themed things. Even though, realistically, most of them do not actually, you know, do well. Because uh, there's certainly been quite a few. I think Flavor Flav had like a chicken place for a while. That didn't go anywhere. Um, you know, but like, and again, credit to the Wahlburgers. Like, you know, they've been successful with theirs. What celebrities would you like to see bust out a restaurant? I mean, for me personally, I think if Dolph Lundgren wanted to put out any type of restaurant, I'd fucking eat there. That man is awesome as anything, right? He's like this giant, super cool, like, European guy. So beat the hell out of you, and he's like a physicist and all kind of chemist or some shit. I don't know. He's a really smart guy. I I don't know what it would be called, and I'm not quite clever enough to think of it at the spot, but that's just me. Anyway, bye.